Hey, how's everyone doing there tonight? This is Undead Nightmare 24, back with a video. Hope everyone's doing well and staying safe out there. This is going to be a review for Joe the Horror Man slash Back Saturdays. I want to send a shout out to Joe the Horror Man. If you haven't subscribed to his channel, please do. He has an awesome channel, and he puts together this uh, fun challenge every Saturday. We get to pick a slasher film based off a certain uh, topic there, guys. And um, this Saturday was... His uh, recommendation was for us to choose a slasher film that from the year 2000 to 2009. So basically 2000 slashers. And this was interesting because I do enjoy quite a few films from that era. Slasher films. So I did pick one out of the collection that I've never seen. This, is a first, this was a first time watch for me. And I was finally able to watch this. I had it on my watch list for a while. It's going to be 2000's Cherry Falls is directed by Geoffrey Wright. I could only find uh, films he, he uh, wrote. This was the only film I could find that he directed. He did uh, write a film called Romper Stomper from the early 90s. But that's basically all I could find on him. This stars Brittany Murphy. Uh, rest in peace. Uh, she came out on films like Clueless and 8 Mile. Uh, legendary actor there. Actress. And we got Jay Moore, Moyer. Seen him in a lot of 90s comedies and 90s films. Uh, great actor as well. This also stars Michael Bean. Michael Bean. I probably slaughtered that name, but he's uh, Kyle Reese on the original Terminator. Great actor as well. Great cast in this film, guys. So let's get into the plot. I am going to keep it brief and try to not give away too many spoilers. So this is basically about a film. It takes place in this town called Cherry Falls. Um, you have this killer that's pretty much stalking women that are, girls that are virgins that's his that's his target and he pretty much kills them in the act of doing something you know naughty so <laughs> yeah he it's a he finds the name cherry falls but yeah he's his target is girls that are virgins like i said and he has some interest interesting weaponry he does use some pretty cool blades in this film and as he goes through this town he, these girls keep on in, uh winding up murdered he does tie him up and pretty much put him in the same routine so he's kind of a serial killer and you got uh sheriff markin played by michael bean he's in charge of getting trying to uh, solve this case and catch this killer but as he learns out he finds out <laughs> pretty hilariously that his daughter jody played by Brittany murphy is a virgin as well so she's a target and this killer is straight after her stalking her and Sheriff Markin is just trying to protect her all he can. He's trying to get to the bottom of this, but as this happens, more bodies fall. And yeah, it pretty much leads to him trying to hunt down this killer before um, he can get to his daughter. But on the meantime, the body count rises. And that's basically the plot I can give without giving away spoilers. It does have some interesting uh, facts. How could I say it? Interesting story throughout the film. I, and I'm going to get to the killer now. Killer is very awesome. He's dressed like a, pretty much like a woman with long hair and a gray strip. And you really can't tell who this killer is or this, the sex of this killer. And the killer is pretty brutal. Like I said, has uh, some good we uh, knife weaponry, man. Different ones. Um, there's some great chase scenes throughout this film. Nice kills are excellent, and the story's pretty solid. So overall, I did enjoy this film, and I actually enjoyed this one a lot. I thought it was a lot of fun. Definitely gave me some vibes, like of even though it was 2000, it did have that 90s kind of horror film to it, feel to it, like Scream, and it goes to like like Urban Legend. I know what you did last summer. It has that type of feel to this film. But yeah, this is an underrated gem in my opinion, guys. I uh, highly recommend this film if you're into slashers and have not seen this one. If you have, uh, you know what, what it's about there, guys, but it's a fun film. So my rating for this film is going to be a solid 4 out of 5, guys. I really enjoyed this film. And I could see myself visiting this one more than once, guys. That is uh, 2000's Cherry Falls. Uh, hidden gem slasher guys so that's going to be my choice for 2000 slashers again shout out to joe the horror man everyone stay safe out there be kind to each other have have a great weekend 
Happy Slashback Saturday. Please hit a like, comment, subscribe. This is Undead Nightmare 24. Keep it horror. Peace.